Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm making mozzarella stuffed meatloaf. This ain't your mama's meatloaf. This flavorful ground beef is stuffed with fresh mozzarella for an ooey gooey center. First, you're gonna wanna get your oven preheating to 350 degrees. Then I'm gonna take a pound of ground beef and I'm using an 85-10 mixture, put it in a mixing bowl. Then add in a cup of plain breadcrumbs, a teaspoon each of oregano, basil, parsley, and salt, and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, and a half a cup of milk. And then I'm just gonna mix this all together with my hands and knead it like it's a dough. Next, use nonstick cooking spray on a nine by 13 pan. I'm just using a glass pan. And then I'm gonna take half of the ground beef and form it into a free form base for our loaf. So it doesn't really matter what shape it is or anything. You just kind of flatten it out, and stick it in the center of the pan. Kind of flatten it out there. And then I'm gonna take pieces of fresh mozzarella and line the center of it with it. Mm, that's probably plenty of cheese here. I'm gonna break this in half, split it. There we go. That's gonna be a lot of cheese. Then take the rest of your dough, flatten it out. And we're gonna kind of seal this up around the cheese. Put it on top and then just pinch all the edges together, seal it up. You'll end up with a nice little loaf. Next, I'm going to make the glaze. Now the glaze is the key to any great meatloaf. I'm starting with a cup of ketchup in a bowl and I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, I can never say that, and a tablespoon of red wine vinegar. We'll also need two cloves of crushed garlic, an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, and a generous pinch of cayenne pepper. Get that in the bowl. And then just mix this all together. Now once that's all mixed up, I'm just gonna take a spoon, and I'm gonna spoon this right over the meatloaf. I'm only going to use about half of the glaze right now though. I'm gonna save the other half and put it on about 15 minutes before it's done to give it that nice caramelized glaze. Now pop it in a 350 degree oven for 45 minutes. After 45 minutes, remove it from the oven and we're gonna brush on more of the sauce. You'll also want to increase the oven temperature to 400 degrees. Just spoon it right on there spread it around, and make sure the whole loaf gets covered with this delicious glaze. Return it to a 400 degree oven for another 15 minutes. Oh, look at that, it's done. I can see all of the cheese oozing out and it smells so good. Cut it open and look at all that cheese inside. Mmm. It's time to up the ante with meatloaf. This is so good, guys. For the full written recipe, visit my website, www.thestayathomechef.com. Give this video a quick thumbs up to let me know you liked it, and subscribe to my channel for more awesome recipes. See you later.